So this is a Bernoulli problem, and when you see this word at least, you should understand that this means that it's a multi-scenario problem, meaning that many situations is going to satisfy this condition, having at least fa three failures in the seven trials. Again, I represent my multi-scenario with a table. Here is the number of success and number of failure. When you have seven trials, the most extreme case is that you fail all seven times. And then you can succeed once, succeed twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, or seven times. Four, three, two, one, zero. So here, we, I've represented the spectrum of all that can happen when you have seven trials. We want to have at least three failures. So we're looking at three failures, four failures, five failures, six failures, and seven failures. These are the scenarios that will satisfy the condition named here. And again, these these are these are not going to do it. And we can either add up all the checks, or we can take one and subtract all the crosses. And in in this case, it's going to be easier to take one minus. So what we're doing is we're taking one minus the probability of five success, minus the pro the probability of six success minus the probability of 7 success. And changing these into is their own respective formulas. And here I will assume you are familiar with the basic Bernoulli, for Bernoulli formula. 7 trials, 5 success. And the probability of success is 0 0.6. So we have 0 0.6 to the 5th. 0.4 to the 2, here's going to be 7 to 6, 0.6 to the 6, 0.4 to the 1, and then last one we have 7 to 7, 0.6 to the 7, and 0.4 to the 0. We're out of room there, so I'll go up here, so that's going to be 1 minus uh, 7 choose 5, that's going to be 7 times 6, that's going to be 21, so here we have 21 times 0.6 to the 5th, times 0.4 to the 2nd, that's going to be 0.261, here 7 choose 6 7, so 7 times 0.6 to the 6 times 0.4, that number is going to be 0 0.131. And this number, well, 7 to 7 is 1. Anything to the 0 is 1. So we only have 0.6 to the 7th, which is 0 0.028. And so 1 minus 0 0.261 minus 0 0.131. Minus 0 0.028, that comes out to 0 0.58. And here's your answer.